Okay, now we're going to create a shoulder. A shoulder is pretty cool how I like to create shoulders. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these four faces on my pig. And I'm going to use my extrude tool and pull out my shoulder. and rotate it. Now here's the trick to how you rotate the shoulder. This becomes the top of the shoulder. It's very important that this becomes the top of the shoulder. See how nice this geometry is going to flow into that arm? This way I have geometry flowing up from the shoulder and this geometry is going to flow this way through the arm. It's very important to have this nice edge flow. I'm going to give it just a little bit of a sculpt here. So this is the shoulder, and I'm going to insert some more geometry. So I'm going to insert an edge loop here, so I have space for an underarm. It's very important to have this space for the underarm right here. And then another edge loop, and this will flow right into the arm. Okay, so I'm going to move this arm back a little bit in object mode. And I'm going to use my vertex, go to vertex mode, and start to snap these together. Hold V to snap. See how they, they're going to flow together quite nicely. Now I'm going to delete some interior faces. This is something we've never done before. I'm going to select these interior faces, the four inside here on the arm and the four inside here on the shoulder. Okay, and then I'm going to go to vertex mode, and I'm going to hold V and snap these together. I am not connecting the model. I am simply putting them close together in proximity. Now look how nice this shoulder is. I'm going to need to do some sculpture, but I've got nice edge flow going up into the shoulder and then from the shoulder into the arm. This represents the deltoid and this is pretty, this is a lot closer to how it really works. So do a little bit more sculpture here. And even though this is going to be uh, just a fun little plush toy animal, it's still important for articulation modeling. Articulation modeling means it's going to have to move. It's going to have to be animated by an animator. So we're just putting in edge flow, correct edge flow on the shoulder, so that when it's deformed, it'll look nice. It's a little bulky, but we can go back in and sculpt it. Okay, now that I have this really pretty close, I'm going to go through and sculpt this just a little bit better. I'm going to go to edge mode, select some of my edges. I'm not going to worry about whether or not it stays connected to the shoulder. I'm more interested in how it looks. I can come back and fix it all back up. I'm just going to go through, take out the muscle tone. I don't want a big buff pig. I do want a ragdollish pig. I'm going to do a little bit more sculpting. Insert some more geometry. And I think that looks better. Insert some more geometry. And I think that looks better.